Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share this page and this video. Today, I am going to be making my own sea moss for the first time. I've used sea moss plenty of times, but I've never actually made it myself. Um, as many people already know, sea moss has many, many benefits. It has many of the nutrients that we need for our body daily. Um, you can use it in your smoothies. You can just actually take a spoon of it every day if you prefer to do it that way. You can use it as a face mask. You can use it for your hair. Um, and even the liquid that comes from soaking the sea moss can be used. It has many benefits and many nutrients. So I hope that if you have any questions or comments that you would leave them down below and I'm going to go through the process of me making my own sea moss and using it for using it in different ways that um, are beneficial to our bodies. So the first step in making my own sea moss was to take the sea moss apart. Um, you usually want to use about a handful for this size mason jar that I'm using. I decided to add a little bit more because I guess I just didn't trust that it was going to be enough for the mason jar. As you'll see in later in the video, it was way more than enough. So I'm soaking it in some spring water and a little bit of lime just for a few moments so that I can rinse it. So after I put the sea moss and some lime and some spring water for a little bit of time, I did rinse it and it came out to look like this. It looks really, really pretty. Um, by the way, I did leave the link down below for where I got the sea moss. You do want to make sure that you're getting your sea moss from a trusted source because a lot of places do sell fake sea moss. So please be sure to just do your research. Now, what I am going to do for the soaking part of the process is to take the same sea moss and put it back in some more spring water. I'm going to put the two halves of the one lime that I used before when I rinsed it, and I am actually going to put another lime in there as well. It is recommended that you have the sea moss soak in the lime and the water for at least four hours and anywhere up to 48 hours. So I soaked my sea moss for almost 48 hours and this was the result has expanded even more. I am going to take the water that the sea moss is in and I am going to save it because in later in the video, I will show you what the water can be used for as so many nutrients that are is coming from the sea moss are going to be soaked into the water. So we're not gonna throw that out. So, so far, the sea moss looks really, really promising. Now it's time to blend. I am going to put the sea moss into the blender and then I am going to put water all the way up into the amount, uh, up into the height of the sea moss that I have. And then I'm going to blend. I am extremely happy with the consistency of this sea moss. Wow, just look at how it's pouring out. It's coming out perfectly. I'm so excited. I did such a great job for my first time. So in the beginning, I did grab a little bit more than a handful of sea moss, and I was able to have enough to go into two 16-ounce mason jars so it really really expands and turns into a lot of sea moss you really just need one handful and maybe a little bit less if you're trying to make just one jar and it lasts about up to two weeks if refrigerated and it has many different uses so we'll go over the different uses of the sea moss um, once you're done making it so I mentioned early in the video that there's so many uses for the sea moss and for the water that the sea moss is soaking in. I use the water that it soaks in to water my plants and it gets a whole bunch of nutrients that way. Also, the sea moss is great for your skin, great for hydration of your skin. So I do use it as a mask. The first thing that I do is clean my skin as normal after I am done cleaning my skin and rinsing off the cleanser 
what I will do is take the sea moss and pull it all over my skin. You'll see that the sea moss starts to tighten your skin. It makes it nice and supple and moist. By the time you wash it off, you'll be able to see the difference right away. After I wash off the sea moss, I do put on a serum and a moisturizer and voila, skin is done. Because sea moss does contain about 90% of the nutrients that we need for our body, having it daily is a great thing for your immune system and for just getting the nutrients that you need on a daily basis. There's a lot of diseases that uh, there are claims that it helps to prevent. And some people just take scoops of two tablespoons of the sea moss and um, ingest it that way. You you also can just take two tablespoons and put it inside of your smoothies, whatever kind of smoothies that you're using. You won't even taste it if it is made properly and soaked properly and rinsed properly. And so there you go. You've made your own sea moss and you've had multiple uses of the sea moss. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If there aren't any questions or comments, I ask that you leave them below. And I also ask that you share like, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you again for coming to watch.